Welcome back to Just Joshing with Dakota. I'm Josh, this is Dakota, and today we are going to pick up where we left off last week, continue the conversation where we started talking about um, maybe misunderstanding slash uh, misinterpretation of this or that, whatever, right. whatever it could have been. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've thought of one immediately because of what we were talking about then. I was like, oh, that reminds me. And so I actually made notes and stuff so that we could be uh, as accurate as possible. Okay. Well, let's, uh, I guess let's just dive right into that then. Okay. So <clears throat> about a week ago, maybe a week and a little better ago, I uh, posted something on my Instagram. And let me just say uh, right off the bat, I don't care as an artist if someone likes my work or doesn't like my work. I should say that I want them to like it. I do my art for myself, but I want everyone else to be able to appreciate it too. Right. So I'm not immune to people uh, uh, commenting on it in a negative way, but I'm not wasting my time on that for the most part. Right. I'm more so into doing what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I want to do it sort of thing. Similar to you. Yeah, absolutely. Because I've seen people comment on your art all the time saying it's trash, you're a devil worshiper, you got got, uh, a black soul, all these different things. I think the the thing is like the people just don't understand and it's just not their bag, right? Like it's, Mm -hmm. and then they, Mm -hmm. they will just say whatever comes to their face, right? They're just like, ah, it sucks, whatever, I don't like it, right? Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, they feel like they need to express that opinion, which me personally, I don't just go out of my way to tell somebody, hey, your stuff. If you not, don't like it, you I don't, don't like your stuff. Hey, by the way, hey, 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 Elon Musk, by the way, I don't like your truck, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You I just don't like, wouldn't buy it. Right. Yeah. I would not that, like, not I that we can like, afford it huh, anyways. That's different. What next? Right. <laughs> I wouldn't different. Go, I wouldn't go out of my way to just shit on him like, hey, <laughs> hey Elon hey I got some new uh, designs I think I'll uh, you got email bro <laughs> so dumb oh man <laughs> I feel like you go to the thing trash yeah. <laughs> just be like nope try again boo be like I hope your SpaceX program is better than this oh man uh, okay yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> so 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 this something like that happened to you or what? No, but I thought it did. Mm. Okay, although it's possible that it did. Right. I'm kind of in between opinions. Did he mean it maliciously? Did he not mean it maliciously? And this is a comment you're saying. This is a comment on an Instagram post that I made about a week or a little better ago. Revolving around your art, I'm guessing. I had okay. This was on my Ushitat page. My dog came in. If you guys can hear my dog click clacking, he's just like, "What the heck's going on down here?" Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> he's like, "Hey guys, what's up?" I'm just gonna sniff around. Um, anyways, <clears throat> the best distraction ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyways, this is on my, one of my Instagram accounts where I I show things that I make slash build slash non painting related, but still in the artistic realm, let's say. Right. I have one Instagram just for paintings and painting related things and one for basically everything else, maker related and uh, art in in sculptural, <laughs> other <laughs> other uh, type media. Hey buddy. Oh, yeah. I thought maybe he'd hop on the yeah, couch so and just I. chill. I guess not. I wonder if he's never done this before. No, he's just- Maybe we're being too loud. We were yelling. Or maybe he's like, who's Elon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't met that guy. <laughs> oh, that's Anyways, it was a, a, a picture of <clears throat> a mosaic tile piece that I did on the ceiling of my closet. Right. Yeah, I, I believe I've seen that. Yeah, and I've also made a YouTube video somewhat centered around it. Basically just for... Uh, for uh, I don't, uh, I don't know, embellishment, oh, I guess, okay. of, of, the, of the closet. It mm. doesn't really serve a purpose other than just vanity. Right. Which I think all mosaic is just basically for vanity. But this is just for that. It's not, and, and it's hidden in my okay. closet. So all right. That's just a little backstory. So I post it, and basically every comment is, is, is positive, which it doesn't matter if it's not positive. If someone doesn't like my work, that's their prerogative. That's their opinion. They're entitled to it. Mm-hmm. 
It doesn't it doesn't matter to me at all if they don't like it. I feel the same way. I think. And this guy, for the most part, anyways. Right. Yeah. Because like, not you don't like every bit of art. I don't like every right. bit of art. There's a lot of art that I openly say I don't like. But now, as I've gotten, uh, let's say, more mature, I, I guess you could say, is when I don't like art, I don't necessarily just say, oh, that's ugly, I don't like it. I may say that, but I will also say, like, if I see that it's executed well, mm -hmm. then I will put that on top. I don't know. I will say something like, I don't like it, but it's executed well. Or, or it's not my taste, but I can see why people would like it. You know, there's right. certain things that I will not like because I just don't like it. Hmm. Right? It's just like Brussels sprouts. They're disgusting. Right. I, I, I try but, not... Yeah. I try not to be, like... Try not to be negative, negative because it's... Like, it I doesn't feel, breed anything no, Anything good. I feel good. like it also, like... I mean, words are powerful. Like They can be, right? for sure. Yeah. And, Especially to a more sensitive individual. Right. Because you don't even know. No. Right? No idea. A person could be devastated by you saying... Not no, my thing. Well, oh, that line's not right. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Right? You know what I mean? There are people that are jerks like that and will go out of their way to put down somebody, which mm -hmm. I don't agree with. I would never do that. I wouldn't I wouldn't just go up to them and say, trash. Right. Right. <laughs> that's rude as hell. Yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. Unless I had some sort of vendetta against them. But that's Which is also wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is also wrong, but you know, there 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 are instances where I don't take the high road, sure. and there are instances where I've been wrong, and mm -hmm. I'm not too big to uh, admit that. I guess. Yeah, like I I get it. There there are things that I've said in the past that I wouldn't say now mm -hmm. because I understand a little bit better. Just because I'm not sensitive doesn't mean that someone else exactly. isn't sensitive, right? Wow. Louder for the people in the back, please. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get back to this. So. I printed off exactly what he said and exactly what I said in response. Okay. And we will go at, over what I said, or what he said, and what I think he said, what I said, okay. and then what he, you get it, right? right. Makes sense? Sure, yeah, let's start. So this right individual, in. I'm not going to say his name or anything, he said, you need to learn how to make stained glass panels and make this in stained glass. So just for context, it was a polar bear in tile mosaic, and I could see why someone would, would interpret it in their head as stained glass or whatever. Sure. Um, it's begging for you to give it real life. Do you think, and then they name another artist, restrained their creativity? So I was like, okay. But then I'm like, wait, is this like a backhanded comment? I don't, I don't right. know. But I, I, I took it as that immediately because this is how I read it. So you need to learn how to make stained glass panels and make this in stained glass, exclamation mark. I read that as, why the hell did you make it in tile? That's mm. so tacky. Right. I, I, um, I see where you could have probably... Misread it if, if he didn't if, mean if it. If it is, yeah. I, I. And then he said, it's begging for you to give it, in all capitals, real, and then life, exclamation mark. As mm. if what I did missed the mark somehow because I used tile rather right. than stained glass. And then they say, do you think... This other artist restrained their creativity, which I read as this other artist is better than you because they would have done what I liked versus what you did because you didn't do your full potential. Like somehow I didn't realize my full potential by doing it the way that I wanted to do it. Right. So I was like, I was like, okay, so if he meant it like that, screw this guy. Right. And usually I just leave those comments alone. Mm -hmm. I don't delete any comments and I don't, uh, I don't, uh, sense or anything unless it's like super egregious then i will because it's just right it's just out of respect for other people <laughs> there for me right. i don't care you can say whatever you want um except for this guy right here that's saying that. no he can say that <laughs> he's welcome to say that right. but i should be able to respond that's true that's right true. it's the response absolutely i agree that i think you should be allowed to do you can say whatever you want i can say whatever i want anyone i should suffer the consequences of my words if they're if i'm in the wrong right and is he in the wrong? I don't know at this point. Right. Now, I feel like a jerk because he, uh, he says that and then I say, you think I'm restraining my creativity because I didn't put stained glass on my ceiling. I was being a little uh, passive aggressive, uh -huh. right? And then I said, that's ridiculous. Or maybe you don't know this is going on my ceiling, which I didn't give a shit if he knew it was going on my ceiling mm -hmm. or not because I made it the way I wanted to make it. And this guy has been following me for a while, so I figured he should just know that, even though he may not have known that. So, 
In which case, so let me start over. You think I'm restraining my creativity because I didn't put stained glass on my ceiling. That's ridiculous. Or maybe you don't know this is going on my ceiling. In which case you're still totally off base. If I wanted stained glass, I would have put stained glass. Excuse me. Mm. We just had McDonald's. Nice. <laughs> I wanted to tile, so I put tile. I have some ideas for stained glass for other parts of the house if they can pan out, but they will be actual windows. And then I was like, okay, that's good enough. And then I was like, no, I don't like this guy. <laughs> so then I, I, I read what I said just to make sure that it made sense. And then mm -hmm. I said, kick rocks. Right. As in, screw off. Right. I don't need you. I don't care if you support me or don't support me. Get out of here. Whatever. Stay or don't stay. I don't give a shit. So I was saying this based off of him, my, my thought of him being negative. Right. But I thought you said that you didn't care. No. Okay. So let me. How does that make let sense? Me, let, me, let me just say I'm this. I'm confused. I don't care if someone doesn't like it, but I want them to like it. So if they don't like it, good. Whatever. But if they challenge my my creativity, that's something that like I, that's like my everything. That's my livelihood and everything. I think I'm oh, freaking creative as hell. Sound, okay, I think I I'm, think I'm the most creative person I know, and I know that sounds vain, but I do. Right. I just I think I'm freaking brilliant when it comes to coming up with concepts and stuff. And of course, not everything's original. Some people argue that nothing's original. Mm -hmm. But the way I'm inspired by things, I think that I execute things in a way that's so uh, removed from what's normal. Sure. I think, but in a good, unique way. I think people would agree with that. Okay. And that's not, I'm not trying to blow my own right. horn here. I, I couldn't even ever say that about myself. Like I, I think But I, when I look at your photography, anyone can take a picture. Okay. This is another way to look at this, this comment that he wrote. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm looking at it. Did right. he mean it or did he not? I don't know. See, like but, when I hear this, to me, this does not come off as malicious. Yeah. And I asked two other people and they didn't say it, but two other people also said they did. So it's three against That's three. That's weird. I think it totally depends on like, how you read it. Yeah. If you're coming, like, like when, for, for instance, um, I take criticism, uh, what am I trying to say here? I take it with a grain of salt, right? Like it's it's not. Like what is your authority on the subject? Right? How do you know, sort of thing? Or I, do you have an opinion on art that's even worth validating? I, I realize that everyone is different. Everyone has their own brain. Everyone mm -hmm. thinks differently. Everyone mm -hmm. everyone's attracted to different things, mm -hmm. right? So when someone tells me that that they don't, they don't like it or I should change this or do this, whatever, whatever. I don't take it personally because it's like they have no idea what goes into the process of the art anyways. So they're, they're mm. naive to the fact that whatever their idea was probably wouldn't work with the idea that I had. And then I just kind of just brush it off as so they're, they're, um, they're a little it's just like a little, it, yeah, ignorance, right? If a little kid came up to you and said, hey, man, I'm a superhero. You'd be like, what? No, you're not. What are you talking about? But in his mind... He, he is a, be, super, right? he's yeah. a superhero, right? You're going to tell that person that he's that he's not. He's not going to care what you have to say. That's how I look at it mm. when people... I'm the little kid. Yes, I am a superhero. Right. I'm going to be doing these things because... But that's talking about your art or your creativity? Because I'm talking about my creativity. That's the part I care about. If he would have said, looks like trash, absolute shit, mm. I would have been like, okay. Whatever. Just, I wouldn't have cared. It's the fact that he said, mm, do you think sounds, this other yeah. artist restrained their creativity? Who cares? I'm not restraining mine. I'm reading that as you're restraining your creativity. You should have done it in stained glass. You did it in tile. Therefore, you didn't do it as good as you could have. But that's maybe that's what he maybe based on the things that he's seen. He thinks that you could do better based on how you do things so well in other mediums. Yeah, he could have. Right? Right. See, that's why when I read It's just this, like, but he's saying you could have given it real life, as in I didn't give it life because I did it in tile. But I did it in tile because it's going on my ceiling. It's not going in front of a window or somewhere where, where light can shine through. If I did it with stained glass and put it on my ceiling, it would look the same, right. more or less. I, it, there would be no light no shining light through. Shining. It wouldn't make sense. So... I th um, yeah. hmm. So I'm just basically saying, 
I could be right or I could be wrong based off of my interpretation mm. to this point. Then this is where I started feeling like a jerk because mm. then I was like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. So then he replies with a long reply. Look how long that is. Ooh. And he says, wow, way to make yourself a victim of an attack that was never made. So then I'm like, oh, damn it. I misread what he said. Uh-oh. I'm like, okay, okay, maybe. I'm like, okay. Weird way to compliment someone's work, but okay. I, You know what? I kind of agree. I kind of think that he, I think he could have added or just subtracted certain words. Like right? saying like, do you think this other artist restrained their creativity? Like he knows this other artist. We know who this other artist is. I, I was like, what the hell, man? What do you mean? Hmm. So I'm then, trying to understand why... Why it, it, um, I mean, I, it, sorry, continue. I'm yes. just, I'm trying to wrap my head around yeah. this. So I was making, okay, so he says, way of making yourself a victim of an attack was, that was never made. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. And he's like, I was making zero commentary on what you did, why you did it, or where you chose to place it. So then I'm like, okay, maybe he didn't know it went on my ceiling. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Right. But then, Maybe maybe there's some other things missing. And then he says, you chose to interpret what I said as criticism of your design aesthetic and placement choice. And then hmm. that's that's kind of inaccurate because I, I was not I was not taking that as criticism as that. I was taking but he didn't know. I was right. I was basically just going off his last sentence was which was what I didn't like. This other artist didn't restrain their creativity. So pretty basically. much you would have read that as if he didn't say that last part they wouldn't. I wouldn't have even rep- replied. Mm. So then he says, "That is not what this was remotely about, or even close to what I was saying." Which I don't know how I was supposed to interpret it differently. Right. I, I mean, yeah. I didn't have anything else to go on. So mm-hmm. then he goes, "What I am saying is that the design of this piece." Okay, tell me if this to you, and maybe it does, is saying what he initially said. Okay. He's, okay. uh, what I am saying is that the design of this piece is so beautiful and so stunning that it's begging to be executed in stained glass as a part of standalone art. And nowhere did he say that in these words. I don't think I could have bent these in any language right. to say, wow, that's beautiful. But I, I, I hope s- you make it again in stained glass. Right. What he said was, in, in, my, in my estimation, was, not good enough, should have been glass. Right. So you asked me, what was that? You asked me, does that sound like in any does, way? Does this sound like what he said? Um, it, okay, read that, read the okay, first. Okay, so he said initially, you need to learn how to make stained glass panels and make this in stained glass, uh-huh. exclamation mark. Right. It's begging for you to give it real life, capitals. Real is in capitals, life, exclamation mark. And then what, he, what he's saying he meant is, um, the design is, <laughs> the design of this piece is so beautiful and so stunning that it's begging to be executed in stained glass as a as a piece of standalone art. Okay, stop right there. I do think that he 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 did not say beautiful or whatever that not even good whatever the hell else right. But he didn't say it. When I read that, to me, it does not come off as an insult. So if it's not an insult. It must be the opposite. Oh, I, right. I don't know if I thought he was insulting my work, because the work looks fine, and he didn't say it didn't look fine. I think he's insulting my measure of creativity. So it's all it's, um, yeah. by comparing me to someone else who he thinks never restrained their creativity, and I must have because I didn't make it in stained glass. I think, but. No. I didn't restrain my creativity because I made exactly what I wanted, and I never restrain my creativity. I think there's, hmm, but I guess he there's know different that. ways to interpret. Mm-hmm. I think there that, is that this sentence. is my interpretation, right? and I think it's a fair interpretation based off of what I had to go with. So then he goes on to say, uh, totally regardless of what you do with it or where you choose to install it. I'm saying that you executed a brilliant and beautiful design, and that its pinnacle will be realized if reproduced in stained glass panel. And then I'm like, I, oh, okay. I picked that And I was like, oh, I feel I th- like it's such an ass. Yeah. It I, was unintentional. Yeah, no. I, I was being defensive because I thought he was attacking my creativity. Right, okay. So then he says, 
Sorry that I was trying to encourage you to... This is where he's kind of backhanded. Mm. Sorry that I was trying to encourage you to realize your, your full potential. And then again, I'm like... Then again, I was like, you know what? This sounds like... What are you talking about? I, it, sounds, it is my full potential because it's exactly what I wanted. But then I'm like, it's not fair of me to assume that he knew it's exactly what I wanted. Right. So mm, Full potential. That could mean that he thinks that you can go beyond what you've already accomplished. And I may be able to, but right. not with what I wanted to do. Because this is a practical space right. that I put this moment Right. In. It makes... Hmm. I could I'm easily so make that again I'm, in I'm, stained glass. Yeah. And maybe I will one day do stained glass. I have ideas for stained glass in where I'm going to build my fireplace nook. I want to have stained glass on the walls. Mm -hmm. I think that'll look super cool with a wood stove right. in the middle. That'll look dope as hell, right? And I'll make one related to me and one related to Ashley. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be dope as hell. Right. I've had that idea for years. Right. Um, then he says, I certainly won't make the mistake of wasting my time on you doing that anymore. So I will go as you've so <laughs> so I will go as you so exquisitely told me, kick rocks now. Ah. For the record, insulting fans of your work isn't exactly a good way to endear yourself to art lovers. Ah. So I was like, well, I meant it when I said kick rocks because of what I thought he meant. So right. this was my response to that. Because mm. now I'm thinking I might be in the wrong here. Right. I might be I might have been off base. Hopefully I wasn't because I don't want anyone to think that I don't appreciate their input. I think I think there could have been different words. I no, think no, if I this think, was I think what I think what he he it's like it's like women, okay? They'll <laughs> they'll be like <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should. But let me just tell you an experience something coming from my my life okay there has been uh, a certain person i'm not going to say who um where they expected me to do something and i didn't know what it was that they wanted me to do mm -hmm. and, I, and i pointed that out to them and they were like oh wait you're right right mm -hmm. i didn't even tell you what you had. i was like i'm not a mind reader yo how right. am i supposed to know what i'm and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Well, that is a stereotype about women. Whether it's accurate or not is up to, like, the individual, I would say. But right. I can hear where that's saying from. But there's also men have a negative stereotypes, too, where they're like, you should have known that based off of yes. doing seeing me right. do it a hundred times before. Yes. But, yes. you know, they're, they're, so, yes, I could have totally just took some time to reread that, make sure that I knew he meant what he meant, or I was more sure than I was then. Right. So then I'm like, I'm like, okay, so he says that, so obviously he didn't mean that. So then I say, okay, telling someone they're restraining their creativity by using, this by the way, um, I don't think he read this because he deleted his comment. So he's, he sent you something, and then he you sent something, and then he sent something, or wait, he sent no. something, you sent something, he sent something, and then you he sent something, he, he, no, he no, deleted it. No. He said something, I replied, then he replied to my reply, and then deleted his comment. But I was already replying to his reply uh. before he deleted it, so I was still able to post it. But right. then when I went back to make sure that he understood that no hard feelings sort of thing, then right. it wasn't there. So he, didn't, he probably didn't see this part. Right. Okay? So I said, okay... Telling someone to restrain their creativity by using one medium over another does not communicate anything remotely close to anything you just now said, which is that he thought it was so beautiful. Right. What I read was not good enough. Right. Should have done it this way. You're restraining your right. creativity by doing it the way you wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I could, uh, if you said then what you said now, then I suppose I could hear what you're saying. But it sounds like you're just backpedaling. Right. Because those two things, in my opinion, are not the same thing. Mm. So I think he was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have said this. <sighs> it's just like, you know, like when there's there's something that you say to someone and then you realize, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Like the thing like, that I said about women earlier, right? Yeah, and then yeah. you're like, but they're so beautiful <laughs> and I'm so glad they exist and I, I wish I could, uh, yeah. I don't actually think that what I, I don't actually think that women all women are are like what i said oh no just, just to clear it up i don't yeah. want people to be like interpret it wrong and then think that i'm out here trying to yeah. you know yeah. crazy on yeah. these ladies yeah so 
Anyways, I said it sounds like you're just backpedaling. My full potential may or may not be realized in this piece, but doing it in another medium would give me less satisfaction as I envisioned it in tile. If by chance I am in the wrong here and I misjudged you, I apologize. I invite you to kick ass instead. Perhaps it's communication through written word that has stalled proper understanding of your comment. And that is what I think he did not read because right. he deleted his comment mm. and unfollowed me. I think that you redeemed yourself by that last, the last message. Like if you didn't, if you didn't say anything, I mean, he doesn't know that you said yeah, he it. He doesn't but, know. But and I he mean, won't know. I think because that you know, I mean, I think you're off the hook because... I well, mean, you I, I mean it, though. Right, right. Right. Because I'm not going to say something I don't mean. I very rarely say something I don't mean. Right. I try to only say what I mean and mean what I say because that's just the best way to live life. It's the most fair way to live your life amongst other people. You shouldn't say things you don't mean because those things are going to be remembered by. Right. So me saying that I'm super creative and telling people that I think I'm creative and I can execute certain things, I mean that. Mm -hmm. I say it. I mean it. Like... The devil would sell his soul to me before I would sell my soul to him to gain any sort of upper hand in, on this earth. I just think I'm awesome. Yeah, but... When what, it comes to creativity. What if he had a fiddle? Okay. <laughs> and that was the only way? I would lose then, but... I would be like, <laughs> what if you were in Georgia? Okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I'm very sure of my... Right. I, I should say I have lots to learn mm -hmm. and I'm willing to learn and I try to learn right. every single day. But I think I have a lot to bring to the table in the creativity realm. Absolutely. So when I don't I, think he was saying that you didn't. But he kind of was by saying I wasn't using my full potential. I think you just and that's just like saying that's just like saying um I think it's uh, I, uh, I just don't. I just didn't read it the way that you read it, so I'm, I'm, I can't. I'm trying to uh, understand how. I mean, all right, you keep saying it was because he attacks your creativity. I personally don't think that he attacked your creativity. I think he just thought he just. I think he thinks that there is. I th I feel like he thinks that you're here, and he thinks that you can go beyond that. Right. Oh, maybe and I. I agree. Right. So I wouldn't have even said any of the stuff that you said, which is crazy because like that's like like I said earlier, everyone is different. Everyone mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. right, and it's so crazy. If he would have said that in, right, but that's what the topic is right now. I misread what right. he said. Right. But so you do understand that potentially this was probably not oh, yeah. ill intended. Possibly it wasn't. In fact, I would I'm say ninety percent sure it wasn't. I'm, I'm based off of what he replied and that he deleted me. I think that I may have hurt his feelings, not hurt his feelings, but I may have been like irked him a bit right. by saying what I said. And then he doesn't want to support me anymore, which is fine. He doesn't have to. Right. I appreciate his support and I hope he comes back someday, but if he doesn't, then he doesn't. That's up to him. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I, I get that I could be wrong. And mm -hmm. I would say that I'm 75% sure that. What he's saying his intent was is what what he meant or saying yeah Does that make sense but like th this is another way that i could read imagine seeing like a very pretty girl on the street mm -hmm. be like oh i should say that she's pretty going up to her and being like hey you should tan <laughs> and then she then and then she goes like what the hell man <laughs> like what i just said that you were exquisitely beautiful no you didn't mm. yeah i did i said you should tan uh, right. If we go back to his no, his initial uh, his initial comment, I get what you're saying. You need to learn how to make stained glass panels and make this in stained glass. It's begging for you to give it real life. Do you think this artist restrained their creativity I by think, someone I think not being? I think he went like, "You think she, this person restrained their creativity?" Like a question. Like, yeah, you, you think they did that, man? No what, way. Is it? Well, but that's implying that I did. You're right. But I didn't. <laughs> I feel like See, I'm trying telling too someone that they should tan as a way to tell them that they're beautiful is saying you could be more beautiful, you could be better. Instead, you should be like, well, you shouldn't say anything because it's not your yeah, business. First of all, yeah. people should be able to look however they want. But just being like, oh man, you're a very pretty girl. That's creepy, especially nowadays. Like you shouldn't. Let's go with another analogy. Let's say you. 
Okay, you do photography. Mm. Oh, I thought I was a pretty girl. Okay, never mind. <laughs> wow. Wow. I thought I was a pretty girl. All right, so my photography? Yeah, so your photography. You do digital photography, and right. you've, you have done some uh, film. Yes. But not very much. Uh, I did some in high school and a little bit before that as well, but uh, never, it was never... As a... As a creative outlet was right. it like it was an assignments never, yeah it was assignments and then just i had that camera that i had when i was a kid right, right? And okay so imagine someone comes up to you uh -huh. and says you have a nice picture okay you have one what's your favorite picture right now uh the centaur uh it's called a uh, sign of hope sign of hope and it's it's actually me mm -hmm. as a centaur mm -hmm. so imagine someone sees it in a gallery okay Let's say, imagine at that one gal gallery show that we had not too long ago. Let's say someone comes into the show and, and they say, they, they look at it and you go up to them and, uh, <laughs> and you're like, hey man, how do you like it? And they go, oh. <laughs> you should learn film. Oh. <laughs> and then goes like, do you think, I don't know what artist what famous photographer or, or non-famous, let's just say another photographer who uses film. Do you, do you think photographer X limited their creativity? Wouldn't you be like, what? I think that... Of course, tone would be there because right. they would be tone in person. But okay, let's say it's online then. Okay. You post it, it on Instagram. It would have to be online for this to be... For it to be mistaken. Right. So then they go like, wow, you should use... Not even wow because he didn't say wow. You need to learn how to shoot and film. I would say I did. This is big. Okay. But I haven't done stained glass, but let's say I did. Okay. It's irrelevant because I didn't want this piece to be in stained glass. Right. So let's say that you didn't shoot and film. Someone just tells you you should because the picture that you had would somehow be better be as better. film. And... In doing it digitally, you're restraining your creativity. You're somehow I, not you know realizing your full potential by doing it the way that you wanted to do it. Even though it meets the mark that you put there. Somehow someone else knows that you're not meeting your full potential by not doing it in a medium that they would prefer to see it in. It's funny because... You should have done it in sculpture. You know, it's funny what? because... <laughs> It's funny because... Why don't you make it out of noodles? <laughs> Robin. <laughs> it's funny because... Do you think Josh restrains his creativity? He would have made it out of noodles. I think that t doing photography with film does take a certain set of skills that I don't possess. Absolutely. When it comes to taking it with my DSLR, right? Mm -hmm. So in that aspect, yeah. My potential isn't fully used because I'm using a DSLR. Yeah, it is. Okay. Maybe in your own opinion. In my opinion, if you would have wanted to do it, if you would have wanted to do it in film, you would have done it in film. Right. You didn't want to do it in film. You because wanted it's to do hard. It. That's why? It's way harder. But that's why you didn't do it in film? Well, I don't have a film camera. Okay, but let's say you did. <laughs> if you had a film camera and a digital, I prefer Would you digital. have been like, okay, I'm going to use my digital as a, as a backup. Mm -hmm. Throw that in the tall grass and start taking pictures with your film. Mm -hmm. And been like, okay, now I'm going to make... I don't know how you would edit it, but let's just say you did... You can't. That's the thing, right? You, okay, so it, it would have had to be all it, practical. That's why it takes a certain skill to use that. Like Using my DSLR, you can just change everything right away and see everything on mm -hmm. the screen, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe that's a bad example. Because doing it in stained glass, doing what I did in stained glass and doing it in tile, I don't think stained glass is hard to do. I think it takes a certain skill, but I don't think it's hard. Just like I don't you think... You don't think it's hard for you to do it? Or you just right. don't think it's hard in general? I don't, think it, I don't think it's hard for me to do it. Right. I don't think I would make something super fantastic like someone else did because I've never done it. Right. But I've seen it done. Uh -huh. In fact, someone was going to give me their stained glass tools... And for whatever reason, an idiot, I refused them. I was like, nah, I don't need it. I don't want to do stained glass. Dude, I'm just so disappointed in you right now. Yeah, I know. Usually I take everything. Wow. But I was just like... You're fired. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know how to uh, incorporate, it, incorporate it into what I wanted to do. 
But let's just say, for example, I, I do and I possess massive skill. I don't think I would have trouble doing it once I got the knack of how, how it's done practically. Sure. Yeah. That so once sense. I had like, you know, the basics down, I could get better and better and better, just like everything else. I get better at everything I do the more times I do it, right? It's like the 10,000 hour thing. I but, think that's typically how that works, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. This is like, you can tell the difference between like, like, Man, you would think the government would be, like, top-notch by now. You know what I mean? <laughs> We've been around for how freaking long already. They're just like, oh, man, we need to raise the deficit again. Oh, we just can't seem to do it. I mean, I don't know politics that oh, well, but but no one's ever happy. No. So, clearly, something's not being done properly. I think this whole, like, two-party system needs to just... Well, we're in Canada. We have three main parties. Right, but it's like, no, not really. Well, not really, but we do. Yeah. They they have a better fighting chance than what they would have in, like, the U.S., at right. least to what we are exposed to, um, mm -hmm. how it works right. over there. So, have we come to a conclusion that possibly... Oh, it's absolutely possible that he meant nothing malicious with his comment. But, that being said, he should have worded it differently. For me to interpret right, how you want exactly. to interpret it? That's just, yeah, like like you were saying. I was just about to say, bring up an example, but you're right. Um, I don't think that he was, I think that his choice of words could have been better. And uh, you only chose your words because of what he had said. What and, I interpreted right, his words. Right, exactly. Like, yeah. So I don't think that, I don't think that. I think it's neutralized in right. the end. Yeah. If, if he didn't actually mean what I th th right. thought he meant. Right. If he did mean what it. What I think I think he meant then mm -hmm. then it's I think I have all the right to say whatever I want. Right. Yes. I think anyone really has the right to say whatever they want to defend themselves. Right. Um, I don't care if he doesn't like the piece. That doesn't matter to me at all. I don't care if anyone doesn't like it. I want them to like it. Right. I absolutely want them to like it. Right. But if they don't, that's okay. It's okay not to like something. But when someone challenges me on my creativity as if somehow I'm lacking by doing it the way I want to do it, that doesn't make any sense to me. All right, dude. So I think I think I know how to get under your skin now. <laughs> Just be like... Every, <laughs> everything that you do, you're like cooking hot dogs, dude. You're Bigfoot would do full, it way better. You're not using your full full potential. Give me that. Bigfoot. <laughs> Do you think the person X would would use a stick? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I dude. If someone would have said that exact thing, same thing to me, I would have taken it as a compliment. Only because um, they're not directly saying you're a piece of shit, right? No, he didn't say that. But I didn't care if he thought I was a piece of shit. If I was you, I would have just. No, if I, I should have just. If I was you, I probably would have said, said the same shit. Actually, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little short with uh, with certain things in real life more so than online. Because online, I take I take I take uh, into consideration that I might misinterpret what they're saying because it's just written word. Right. right. If you would have put in like a, a smiley face emoji mm -hmm. after a couple hearts. stained glass, then I would have been like, oh, he's happy. Just like when I say something that I think could come off as brash, I try to put somewhere in there a smiley face or whatever, just so they're or not like, like kissy what, face. The hell? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. it's like I don't want anyone to be like read a text and be like, what the hell does he mean by that? Kissy face. What? <laughs> Did I read that right? Kiss, kiss. Yeah. Little kiss. Big kiss. Oh, uh, that's what? Nacho Libre? Yeah. Dude, good movie. Jack Black, man. I died laughing at that movie. The, Nacho? You the, laughed even harder at the parody. The parody. What was that movie? I don't remember. Uh, Tent that, or. Yeah, what was that movie? Yes, I did laugh. The, it was so good. Yeah, he was like, Nacho! Cheeps are delicious. No, he was like, he was like, he was like, so in the movie, he goes, Nacho! Right? And then in the parody, he goes, Nacho! Cheese! Chips! And then he like crunches them. <laughs> oh, over. yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then he like blows them all over the cell. They're all like pukey, though. <laughs> yeah, that was a good so movie. Funny. What is that like movie, movie now? Ah, it's going to bug me. Okay, I hope that if anyone knows what that movie is, please 
please say what it is in the comments because I want to rewatch that. It's the uh, parody movie of... It was a bunch of movies. Yeah, a whole bunch of them. I think X-Men was in what it. What was it? Not another parody movie? Or wait. Not another teen remember. movie. That's Never mind. That's a parody of teen movies. Ah, uh, what am I thinking of? <clears throat> Disaster movie? That could be it. Disaster movie. I think that's what it is. I, I think like King Kong is in it or something. And... Yeah. yeah. There's uh, Narnia is in it. Yes. Holy crap. You know what? I think that movie actually makes fun of not another teen movie as well. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Huh. But anyways. Getting back on topic, do you think there's anything that you've ever misinterpreted and been like, oh, damn it. I probably should have reread that or I probably uh, should yeah. think about it before I talk about it. The English language, probably. Misinterpret that all the time. Are you kidding me? There, there, there. Have you seen the English language? Does I this say Polish or Polish? They're saying, oh my gosh, man. Is your wife Polish? What else is there? Uh, though and thought. And thou. And, and tough. And through. Rough. Or no. like, you know what I mean? All these yeah. freaking. But you know what? I, I I think besides that, I can't I can't think of anything. You're that, a little more careful with. Uh... I think if, in my younger days, absolutely. Like just, I, I think maybe in school. I, in school, I think I. Math misinterpret everything and all that. I don't think that I have had... <laughs> math, nothing to do with anyone person. Like, no, my life oh, was great. <laughs> one time math, I didn't get I didn't, I didn't, didn't get long division. Dude, did you know I didn't get long division until I was in grade 9? Did you know that I still don't know what that is? What is that? Is yeah. that the thing where it goes yeah. 9, 100, how many times is 9 going to 10? 1, 9, yeah. 1. Really? I didn't get that till grade 9. You start learning that in grade 3. It just clicked one day. I was just like, Ow. "Oh, I still don't know exponents and yeah, I don't even know what exponents are. Integers and and bed bed, bed mass bed mass. Yeah, that's uh brackets, brackets. <laughs> equations equations could be division division math. math. That can't be right. Is it math? Multiply. Multiply <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> B E D F. It can't be equations then. No. Brackets. Brackets. Exponents. Oh yeah, exponents. You just said it. Brackets. Exponents. Division. division math. Math. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Multiply. <laughs> Multiply. <laughs> Multiplication. Hey. Arithmetic. Uh, <laughs> arithmetic. We got math and arithmetic in this thing. <laughs> and equations. No way. <laughs> Do you think you can figure it out? Okay. <laughs> Brackets. Equations. Division. Math. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, um, what is it? Multiply. 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 Addition. Addition. Subtraction. Subtra okay, there we go. Okay, Can and that's how you do it in order. Yeah, bed mass. B Brackets. Brackets. Addition. addition. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brackets. Equations. Division. It's not equations either. <laughs> What? I thought it was equations. <laughs> no, it's bed mass elevation. No, uh, ira brackets equa equators. <laughs> no, it should be erasers, man, because we would not get this right on the first. Oh, my go. brain just doesn't work. No, bed it's mass. it's a d <sighs> brackets equivalents. No, that's close. Equations. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. You just had it. Ah, exponents. Exponents. Okay. That's probably not right either. Brackets. Brackets. Exponents. exponents. Division. Division. Math. <laughs> Ma Multiplication. Multiplication. Arith addition. <laughs> addition. Subtraction. Subtraction. Okay, yes. this is it. Right. Brackets. Brackets. Exponents. exponents. Division. Division. Multiply. Multiply. Addition. addition. Wait, subtraction. Wait, did we say addition twice? Right. Equation addition. Okay, never mind. Not equation. Brackets. Exponents. Shit, ah. you said it wrong again. Okay, this is it. Okay. Brackets. Exponents. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Okay, I'm going to try to do it by myself. Okay. Brackets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. I keep thinking equations. Yeah, it's just like something like crawls in my ear and says, say equations. Yeah, it's like, it's like when people... Uh, 
uh, like, it's like calling natives Indians, right? Right. It's like, they do that in the U.S. and it's totally acceptable. But here, man, you're going to get your face yeah, shot no off. no one calls people Indians here. No, it's changing it's, legislation and everything. Actually, right. it's only in the Indian Act that they call it it's Indians because that's what you were uh, uh, designated as. And so it's in a legal document. So right. they keep it as Indian. But I think they now have it brackets after it. Uh, uh, Aboriginal, right? So in in the U.S., I think they're doing a lot by saying Native American. Here, it's Aboriginal, right? Which I don't get why white people get keep being able to tell us what we're gonna call us, right? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know. I personally don't care because you can call me Indian, you can call me Native. I prefer Native. Mm. You can call me Aboriginal. You can call me First Nations. Like I just found out that. I don't know if you told me this or somebody else that Eskimo is a slur. No, I didn't tell you that. I've I've heard that and I've heard people say like actual Inuit people say that that's not true. Cuz I believe I could be wrong. Uh, one of my friends who's done uh these studies, let's call them. She's uh Métis and Cree. Uh-huh. And she says that Ooh. that's ridiculous because white people keep telling First Nations people what they should be called, which is ridiculous. Yeah, white people. So then people get outraged, being like, "Wait, I heard that we're not supposed to be called that anymore." Personally, if if something's racist, don't freaking say it. Right. Don't say it. Don't call someone something that they're not. Yeah, or that they don't want to be called. That doesn't right. make sense. That's 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 rude. You damn Eskimo. Right? So saying someone's an Eskimo, I don't know if that's derogatory or not. It might be. I hope it's not. Someone, right, because there's Edmonton Eskimos. Like the right, that's our team. football team. It's just like, I don't know if it is or not. I haven't really, just because I don't, I don't, someone being racist to me doesn't bother me. I look white, so I don't get it a lot. I get mostly just lateral violence. It'll just be other native people saying I'm a white Indian. Right. Uh, Indian. So I, I get that all the time. So... Right. And one time, and maybe we'll talk about this next week, I almost got killed because I was fishing on Indian land. So we're going to talk about uh, how we almost got killed? Why not? Okay. We've already had one episode about it, but I have right. way more stories. Okay, I have episodes of where why I almost not? died. So why don't we pick that up next week? We'll use that as our homework. But first, <sighs> bed mass? <laughs> 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 okay. 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 Brackets. Brackets. <laughs> Equations. Equations. <laughs> Brackets. Exponents. Division. division math. math. <laughs> Shit. Ah. Brackets. Exponents. Division. Multiplication. multiplication addition. addition. Subtraction. Yes. There we go. There we go. In the meantime, if you want to know what we're up to, check out our individual social medias, and YouTube channels. Those, <laughs> those will be linked in the description for you to enjoy. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Man. That was so mass? hilarious. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Math. Equations. Arithmetic. Oh, man. <laughs>